Hi guys, welcome to HFV. We are off to Sweden again today. The country is shaken by a tragedy after what happened ahead of their European qualifier game in Brussels. Here I want to express my sincere condolences to everyone close to the ones who passed away. Before we start with the facts regarding today's game, I would ask you for 15 seconds of silence in front of your screens in the memory of the victims. Thank you very much. Our game today is the last Stockholm derby of Al Svenskan 2023, Jurgården CF against Hammar BF. The 27th match day of Swedish top flight Al Svenskan, four games left for each and every team. Jurgården and Hammar are on the fourth and on the fifth place respectively. Hammar goal today is obviously to narrow the gap to three points. Jurgården's goal is to get their second derby win this year and with that maintain a tiny chance of them getting to a European spot, which would be the third place. There was a period Jurgården were doing pretty humble in Stockholm derbies, but they got their act back together and got some wins recently. That is why you see two wins to their name in the last 10 head-to-head -head comparison. However, Hammarby remained dominant with five wins and remaining three draws. Too bad I had to take a break from the channel this spring because their last game in that period was a stunner, an absolute roller coaster which finished 4-3 to Hammarby. However, September was a glorious Stockholm Derby month with two games. Check them out on the Derby List playlist, link one in description. After documenting Hammarby Oiko and Oiko Jurgården last month, the channel has now all six permutations of the Stockholm Derbies in its portfolio. And to honor this, a new playlist named Stockholm Derbies was created. If you're interested in those exclusively, link two for you in description. Jurgården are the home team today, but these two teams are sharing their stadium. Imagine that they are sharing it since 2013. The supporters hate it, of course, but they didn't really have a choice, unfortunately. It is Teletvo Arena and it tends to be called Stockholm's Arena by Jurgården supporters. That's the official non-sponsor name of the stadium and somewhat similar to Jurgården's previous home, Stockholm Stadion. Hammarby supporters are not having any of that, they call the stadium Nya Söderstadion, remembering the name of their old stadium. And the arena's location, which is only a few minutes walk away from where Söderstadion used to be. It's a pleasure to document this derby once again. We are off to Stockholm, Nishövi. Less than a day ahead of kickoff Insect Football, we just recorded a podcast. You guys have really a lot of talent for recording. Thank you very much for the invitation. Which team you guys support? Uh, I support Hammarby. Yes, I support Degefors. Yeah, uh, thank you for the scarf. Yes. And I support Oiko. Stone Island jacket as well on both of you, nice. Uh, and we all support uh, IFK Aspen and Telles. I received this scarf as well. Thank it's... you very much, guys, both of these. What do you think about the derby? Uh, really looking forward to the derby. I uh, have heard uh, many things that it's going to be big tifos and uh, all many flares and uh, yes, I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, yeah, me too. Uh, as a neutral, great game and uh, hopefully looking forward to some great tifos. I think also it is, it is going to be interested and I actually have an opinion who's going to win and uh, I just hope it's going to be great tifos and uh, flares. So tell us that opinion, who's going to win? I hope draw. Draw? Mm. Ah, okay, because then you you win. No, you then then you don't win the derby table, do you? Yeah, Whatever. Yeah. You're gonna if you're gonna win, then I could win the derby table this year. Well, uh, then I, I want to, you're gonna win. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, as mentioned, guys, episode link in the description, and thank you very much for the invitation yes, once thank again. You. Thank you. Check them out. Today we had a again after yesterday. We were as an away supporter. This year all the Stockholm derbies were won by the home team, including the cup derby you won against AIK. It's your home stadium as well, but it's still the home team on paper who won the derby this year, like all of them, six out of six. What about the seventh one? Are you going to manage an away win or a draw perhaps? I think I think we do a good performance, but I don't know if we get the three points today, uh, unfortunately. But uh, I think it's going to be a perfect, uh, fantastic atmosphere and lovely day at, uh, at, at our stadium. Young Hammarby supporters joining me here at the Medborgia Platsen as well. How long have you been a uh, Bayern supporter, guys? Family tradition? Yeah. Uh, like I was a kid. Yeah. yeah. Same, same, same. You both grew up supporting Bayern? Yeah, yeah. How do you see the chances against this sort of away derby against Jurgården today? I think we're gonna win this 3-1. 
I think we're gonna be strong in the match and win this. I think 2-1 to Djurgården and uh, Hammarby will go up in the first half uh, at a penalty. You actually think you're gonna win? I think so. What a draw. I don't know. I'm not too confident. It's not like away away, but we're gonna win with like 3-2 or 2-1. Favorite player of Bayern? Yusuf Erabi. All. I love all. And the special train for the away supporters is here from Medborgar Platsen to the arena, a station after the arena. One one, maybe. Yeah. Um, I'm not so optimistic, but I think uh, probably two two one. Two one. We will win. And I think it's gonna be a tough game, so I will say uh, two one to us. We go to the death part of the train because there is party in the other wagon, but not in this one. What, what do you guys think about that? Unfortunate, isn't it? Yeah, it's pretty unfortunate. We came in the wrong wrong train, but uh, yeah, but. In, uh, when we're at the station, it's gonna be good. So. Can we expect a great TIFO today from you? Uh, yeah, probably four TIFOs in a row, I think. TIFO group is crazy. Yeah, it's uh, amazing. Yeah. reference to guys getting promoted this year after 11 years. So over there is the Hammarby march and a few hundred meters away literally is the Yurgona march. Look at that.
last minute we have the first shot of the game on target, Lucas Berwald, the young man, the 17 year old, could have hit that one better, he went on target but it, it didn't go to either the corner of the goal, that was a 100% chance, the first such finish and he didn't manage it. As if that one would go in from this angle. It can barely get any worse than this, what we saw in this first half. We waited 34 minutes for the first shot on target, then you got another big chance from Eriksson's corner, and on Hamarby's side, actually, Besada's shot, which. Uh, <coughs> On Hamarby's side, it was actually Besada's shot, which flew over the bar, which was, which I regard as their uh, biggest chance, because it took it on from 23 meters. About the game just doesn't live up to the expectation. I was actually expecting this. The last Nielner game I visited was Malm against Jurgården, so Jurgården, I really hope it's not you again. Both teams have something to push for but they could also settle for a draw so I really hope that's not the case in the second half about the TFOs honestly Hammarby always tries something really spectacular really detailed and it's always amazing but it doesn't always come off visually a big exception from that is their TFO in the 4-3 game against Jurgården earlier this year but now sort of simple TFO obviously it wasn't simple to, to prepare but simple by looks the jersey the three classic jerseys two switches awesome guys 10 out of 10 I give you and to Jurgården they didn't have a picture they had some confetti and a pyro show instead and I think that suits them really well with all their colors so as always TIFO experience is granted in the Stockholm Derby from that point of view it was a really great one but that's always like that so uh, you have to expect more from the game in the second half a short service announcement before we continue traveling to create football content is incredibly special but it takes up a lot of time effort and money please support my work by sending thanks below the video with an amount you choose or via the channel's patreon page you see on screen and in the description if you don't have the intention of sending money please support hfv with a like a share and a subscribe on the journey of creating educational football content thank you very much for your help and a special shout out to my hosts if you're a teenager you just ignore what i said and spend the amount on yourself saying what i did at your age don't forget to check out the channel's social media either. Let's carry on. And the second half is underway by Blue Renden out the Blue Stripes. and Hamabu having this awesome pirate show. So if there is a photographer close to it, which I'm really sure there is someone, even more people, and you can get such great picks, which this, even this 4K camera doesn't give back to you, but their support, seeing that, and all the pyros lit up and flashing, it's, it's something really, really spectacular with your own eyes. You really have to experience it if you haven't been to Stockholm Derby yet.
that part of the pitch which is now almost full in smoke. The referee Al Hakim said that we're gonna have an interruption, which is not gonna be long, we hope. really bad for your Goran, but it didn't. in against all the odds even though he was in the squad already for today is Viktor Dukanovic who was reported to be injured and to be out for the rest of the season but apparently he's not so he might be able to help Hamarbu in these last 15 minutes plus additional time Here we have today's attendance number, which is 24,564. Could be a bit better since it's a derby, but it's not bad in itself. But the game is, the game is oh, very boring and, and, and an unenjoyable 80th minute. pitch, match interruption or a lot of injuries, the latter one today. time is over but this corner will be taken which is the last chance of you going to one crazy insane heartbeat in the end before the shot but it's over the bar from the volley if, if that would have gone in but it didn't another nail nail here in Sweden sort of depressive clapping unfulfilled promises from both teams today Bye bye Teletvo. Vicious.
Lesnar. Hamaku didn't have a single shot on target throughout the whole game, I keep wondering how. They scored 8 goals in their two home derbies earlier this year. With this draw, they dropped the place, they are now 6th because Kalmar won away in Degefos. Jurgodan are 7 points away from a Conference League qualification spot. With 3 rounds remaining, they stay on the 4th place. However, if one of the top 3 wins the cup next year, the 4th place team gets the UECL qualification spot. With that in mind, I get that Jurgodan settled for a draw, they actually didn't settle because they attacked till the end. But Hamarby, they should have committed much more in my humble opinion. The derby table is won by Hamarby this year, it doesn't count anywhere, but it's really fun to see supporters counting this as well. The game was rubbish, but I shouldn't really complain because my performance wasn't the best either. I didn't get any Jurgodan interviews, unlike the derby last month. Also, getting the thoughts of different age groups and gender on screen is something I really need to improve on, I'm aware of that. You didn't see the most enthusiastic performance from me also because I'm still recovering from a cold, so that definitely played a role in it. The supporter performance was special as always, too bad the teams didn't push more. The minute of silence was broken with a political message, I would rather not comment it, it's a big enough scandal already. I could get the Bayan Tifo switch footages from a YouTube channel called Mr. Bayan, thank you very much. Check his channel out, especially if you're a Hamarby supporter, link 4 below. Stockholm Derby's playlist, as mentioned before, link 2. Insect Football Podcast, link 3 for you. And the Sweden playlist can't be missed, with all the Swedish content on the channel so far, link 5 below. Pretty unfortunate, but this was the season's last Stockholm Derby. If you enjoy it, check out the channel's other social media possibilities on screen. As always, I was HFE. Take care. We says Hadebra. Two more things I forgot. It was too bad that we ended up on the dead part of the Bayern train on the way to the game. And the other one is that I also missed a Jurgoran mocking Tifo towards Bayern regarding their uh, foundation year, which was changed from 1897 to 1889 because Hamabi started their rowing club, which was their first sort of uh, sports activity in the club uh, in 1889. And then they changed their foundation year so that they are actually the oldest club in Stockholm. And Jurgården started mocking that before the game with a growing band role, a Pinocchio nose. Um, it's really funny, that was something to mention as well. Anyway, that was it. Um, as a Bayern supporter, you obviously have your opinion on that. And as Jurgården or Aiko supporter or as a neutral, whatever, I'll leave that to you. Once again, I was HFV. See you, bye.